Now, my next guests made headlines earlier this year after their daughter, Azalea, was diagnosed with a rare form of leukaemia at just eight weeks old. Ashley Kane and Safia Viraji raised over one million pounds for treatment to help Azalea, with people all over the world, including stars like Dwayne Johnson, sending the family support. But sadly, Azalea died in April, aged just eight months. And today, they're launching a foundation in her name to help other children with cancer. And they join us this morning for their first interview. And we, we appreciate it very much. It's never easy to talk about this. Um, however, you're here for the right reasons and it's about moving forward and helping other families that have been through the same thing. Um, as we say, many of us have followed your story for the past few months. Um, and Azalea was just eight weeks old when your battle, if we will call it that, began. What were those early warning signs? So I believe that our early, early signs were her stomach getting hard, vomiting, bruising, diarrhea, all these kinds of symptoms. They, they were symptoms that you would, you'd think as a first time parent, you would typically find in a baby. There was nothing really at that point to highlight the, of the severity of what it actually was. Mm. Like Sophia said, like a hard stomach, so it could be things like constipation or colic, things like a stuffed nose. Mm. So there wasn't really a really telltale sign at the time mm. that it was leukaemia. And um, I think that's what we've tried to do the whole journey and what we want to do going forward now. We want to kind of raise awareness so that not only new parents, but other parents that I mean, I don't wish it on anybody, mm. but could find themselves in the situation, can be aware so they can be proactive rather than reactive because being able to spot the telltale signs could really be the difference in how your child gets on battling this illness. Of course. And, and battle she did, and she was a proper little warrior, as you both were, in fact. Um, and there were lots of up and downs in the, in the months to come, unfortunately, but it was at the point when you were told she needed a specific transplant. Um, and a certain type of therapy, um, which was a particularly large hurdle, let's put it that way, because it was only available in Singapore and therefore cost a vast amount of money. Yeah. Um, I mean, Azalea is the strongest person I know. Um, she overcome every obstacle or hurdle on that journey. She got through her stem cell transplant and right at the end, there was just nothing else they could do in this country. Mm -hmm. And that's why we had to, to raise that amount of money to try and go to Singapore, which, I mean, listen, we are so grateful to the public, by the way. We like to call them our second family now because they've been such a fundamental part on this journey. Not even, not, not just raising the money, but the daily support. And especially in this day and age, especially over the last couple of years, you see how cynical social media can be. But during our journey, it really shown how beautiful the world is and the people that are in it. But yeah, we needed to raise this money to go to Singapore because it was our only option. And um, we sadly found out a day after that we raised the money that we could no longer go because they'd found more tumours mm -hmm. in her brain and in her body. And it was devastating. Mm -hmm. A very, very tough um, point for you, for, the, for your whole family. Um, you talk about the support on social media and, and support you got. It was overwhelming. Um, you needed to raise about a million pounds to take her to Singapore. And you got that in a matter of hours from people. It was a staggering amount of money. And the outpouring of love, I think, that you probably felt as well must have helped you at the most difficult time in, in your lives. Um, sadly, uh, you lost Azalea on the 24th of April. Um, there are no words to try and even describe those moments and, and what you're going through. It's just utterly devastating. But from this awful moment within your, your personal lives, you have found the strength to say, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to make a difference to many other families who may go through the torture that you have done. Um, and this is what the future holds for both of you. It is about setting up a foundation, which is launching today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, champ. Let's go, exactly. <laughs> and what are you hoping to achieve with this foundation? Honestly, Christine, I really, really want to bring so much education to Azalea's foundation. I feel like parents and guardians really need to be aware of the signs and the symptoms. And I really want to bring such beautiful 
magical moments to children that are in such dark places and be able to spread so much beautiful, magical light, bring smiles to their faces, give them excitement, the same as what we did with Azalea every single day. Mm -hmm. We was in the most darkest place, but we brought the most light and that gave us comfort. And that's what I want to be able to do with Azalea's foundation going forward. But you, you really, uh, like, people are listening to when you speak. I mean, when you talk about the stem cell um, transplant, and when you, when you put out a call for people to register on the stem cell um, register, the Anthony Nolan Trust said that there were literally tens of thousands of people signing up instantly. I mean, people are listening, and that must give you such strength that you are making a difference now. And, in fact, Azalea is making a difference. It's just a reflection of how strong, how powerful and how amazing our beautiful daughter, mm -hmm. our daughter was. Um, she didn't just affect us. I mean, we thought we had to be strong for her on the journey. Mm -hmm. We thought we had to be bright for her. We thought we had to give her energy. And it turned out that she was the one that was giving it to us every single day. She was the one that was giving it to people around the world every single day. And the donors on the registry is just a reflection of how invested people were in Azalea and how much she affected people's lives. The money that was raised by the amazing people out there in 24 hours is a reflection of how strong Azalea is. Mm -hmm. And that's what we really want to, to thrust into the Azalea Foundation now. We want to bring that community, that we want to bring that community together to really make a difference in this world. Because for us, the journey was never about us. It was all, all about Azalea and, and you've got kids yourself, mm -hmm. and you know that no matter what is going on, they come first. And nothing's changed now. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is continue Azalea's incredible legacy. We want to use the rest of our lives to make a difference in this world, to help these children, so that we can just ease the burden a little bit of, of parents that might have to go through this as well. And I think that's the important part of life now for us, mm -hmm. using the rest of it to make a difference. Because our beautiful daughter didn't get a chance at health and at life. And because we have that chance, we want to use us for the right reason. And that's exactly what you're doing. Um, on, as I say, I've, I've followed you both throughout all of this, and honestly, our, our hearts go out to you. And there's so many other families in exactly the same situation. You've come into contact with many as well. And like you say, if you can make a tiny bit of a difference, which you absolutely are doing, it does give you strength. And it's, it's certainly a pathway that you're wanting to, to follow. And um, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. I, I know it's never easy trying to explain what's happened and how you feel, but you're both incredibly um, strong people. And um, like we say, the foundation is launched today and be good work will come from that. And tomorrow um, I'm embarking on a thousand mile bike ride from Land's End to John O'Groats as a, as a fundraiser for these kids fighting cancer because mm -hmm. I didn't, we didn't want to just put our hands out and ask for money. I want to kind of show a fraction of the strength that they have. Yeah, so she's our hero, isn't she's she? She's our hero. Absolutely, of course she is. Let's Thank go you. champ. Exactly, that's, mm -hmm. that's the word, isn't it? That's, that's the, the word. Chance. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Thank for having, you. having us. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.